Hello and welcome. My name is Dominic and today I'm going to show you how you can install Direct Output Framework in the 64-bit version, the fast, easy and lazy way. So let's get it started. First thing is uh, you need to go to pinup uh, papa wiki page nailbuster.com slash uh, wiki pinup and then check for the update baller installer on May 2023. So you can find it here. Um, hit that link and here you go. And the second thing is you want to scroll down until you find the direct output x64 point zip file and uh, all you have to do is uh, download it and open it. I use uh, 7-zip because it automatically unblocks uh, all blocked files, so you don't have to worry about unblocking manually. And now we are going to our C drive where a direct output is usually installed. Um, and uh, what we are now going to do is simply copy that link, uh, copy that folder and uh, move it to our C drive and if you open it you can see there are all sorts of files in there just the normal um, direct output stuff and usually you don't have to register it uh, just leave it like it is and you should be good and uh, the next step is important because now we're going to simply delete this folder it's not needed we will create some sort of uh, shortcut um, which directly links into the um, config folder here and um, so you only have to um, maintain this uh, file set here in your regular regular direct output folder so we are going to open a command line uh, type in cmd hit enter and uh, the next step is we are going, so you can see it live. So I'm going to type in MK link. And now what we want to do is create a junction. So uh, slash J. And then we need our newly to be created folder link, uh, whatever you want to call it. C direct output x64 slash config backslash and now we need as um, the second part we need our source folder which is direct output backslash config and if you hit enter we should immediately see a new folder uh, popping up and if you look at it, um, you can see there's a um, direct link uh, to our regular uh, direct output folder. Now, the interesting part is that uh, Windows and all programs that um, have access to this folder still think that the files, the config files, are in the x64 folder, which they aren't. And as you can see, I created a little test file here. So config test, if I delete that here, and we are now going into the 64 folder, you can see that we are in the x64 config folder and the test file is also gone. So um, the last step, is uh, we go into our tables folder, uh, VPX tables folder. If you already have a plugin 64 folder there, just open it. Uh, make sure that your direct output uh, link is pointing into the direct correct uh, into the correct directory. So right click uh, properties and check if the target is set correct. And if it's, um, I just create a new, new one to show you. We delete it, create a new um, a link. We look for the correct 
path and that should be C direct output x64 and that's it. Hit next, hit finish and that's all. Okay, thank you for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment if you uh, like what I do and hopefully we'll see you next time. Bye bye.